We're in the mechanism section for the recommendation to keep hemoglobin A1C below 5%. Let's take a look at the effect of a high blood pressure. This is the study. It's available in the resources section of this course. The study was published in the International Journal of Epidemiology. The impact factor is 7.70. This study was published in June 2009. It was a prospective cohort study, over 25,000 adults, and they were followed for a median of 8.2 years. Let's take a look at the results. This is the graph from men. The x-axis shows systolic blood pressure, and the y-axis shows the relative risk of diabetes during the follow-up period. Compared to men whose systolic, which is the top number blood pressure, was 79 to 109, the risk of diabetes increased with increasing blood pressure, as high as a 92% relative increased risk of developing diabetes during the follow-up period for people whose blood pressure was 132 or greater. For women, there was a similar increase. Compared to women whose systolic blood pressure was 75 to 104, as blood pressure increased, relative risk of diabetes increased to as high as 99% increased relative risk of developing diabetes in the follow-up period for those with a systolic blood pressure of 126 or greater. Another factor that increases risk for diabetes is a person's resting heart rate. This is the study. It's actually the same study as in the blood pressure study. And it was, again, the same description that I gave for the blood pressure study applies to this resting heart rate study. Same population, just different statistical analysis. And this is the results. This is the graph for men x-axis is resting heart rate in beats per minute, y-axis is the relative risk of diabetes during the follow-up period. Compared to a man whose resting heart rate was 32 to 53, as resting heart rate increases, so does relative risk of diabetes, reaching as high as 126% relative increased risk of diabetes in the follow-up period for individuals with a resting heart rate of 65 to 131. This is really shocking because 65 is the average resting heart rate in adults in the U.S. This graph shows the results for women. Again, the x-axis is the resting heart rate. The y-axis is the relative risk of diabetes during the follow-up period. Compared to women whose resting heart rate was 36 to 57, as resting heart rate increases, so does the relative risk of developing diabetes during the follow-up period to as high as a 106% relative risk of developing diabetes compared to someone with a heart rate at 57 or below.